All right, so we've done drip irrigation throughout um, tons of our plants around our garden, and uh, it just seems to concentrate the water too much in one area. It's, uh, it's good for deep soaking, uh, maybe for citrus trees and things like that, um, but for just everyday gardening, getting a good source of water around the whole area, um, it just hasn't worked really well. So what we're gonna try today is still a drip line, but instead we are going to connect um, these little connectors to them, and that will allow us to do a pierce hole in and a pierce hole out which we'll then connect this tubing to. I auto this tubing to, and that'll go kind of across the bed, and that will go up to these little sprayers. Um, so you'll you plug it into here, and then it shoots a little area out. Um, we're gonna find out how far they shoot. Um, I'm sure there's different um, sizes and varieties and how much pressure. These ones are 30 PSI. So we're gonna go and change up our irrigation lines and add these in, and uh, we're gonna see how they do this week um, with a lot of really sunny weather. All right, so we have our irrigation coming off of here right now, and it's got kinks in it, so I'm gonna add a, well, I need to add a timer. Maybe I'll get to that today, we'll see. The main thing is to fix these lines that go through these boxes, so I'm gonna show you that right now. So we have the um, wire line, what? comes from that corner, and then it comes over here, and does a big loop, and we're just gonna um, have it just go straight down and end, so we can get out, get rid of all this extra hose, um, and then fix the kinks that are around the edges, so. Let's start there. All right, so I've pulled it along this whole line here, and then we're gonna clip it here, and then just roll it, and then I'm gonna put the little parts that go out into the middle of the box from this long side piece. That way I don't have to have all this extra. Okay, Adi, you can clip that for me. Clip, tip. Yep, right here. Uh, there. Okay, squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. <laughs> yeah, keep going, keep going. Right now, go, squeeze. Woo! All right, I'm gonna bend it down like that, and then like that. And then, I'm gonna take this guy. Hey, Mom, you're Nana. You're Nana? Uh-huh. Hi. She's feeling better, you think she's sick? Yeah, I'm feeling better. Okay. Hey, see if you can play with her. Here, yell, yell up and say Nana. I've got my little connection piece my sprayer and my length of tube. Set that right there. And this is gonna be my first little point of contact right here. Just a little bit. Whew. Okay, so there's extra water in this line. Put this in there. All right, that's pretty snug fit. And we'll put the tube on. Oh, that's so much better. That side. Okay. And I'm expecting this to get like, you know, a two foot perimeter. So I'll just connect that right there. It's pretty good. And then we'll stick it in right there. And uh, let's, do the rest and turn it on and give it a try. Okay, so now I've brought all these lines out, squared them off so that they're not doing big loops and kinking. Um, every end of each box um, has one line in it and uh, they're all capped off and I've got that one that I set up over there. So I'm gonna turn the water on and see kind of what the spray is like and then I'll know how many I need to put into each box and uh, maybe I'll give you reference as well. But this is something you can do as well if you're setting up irrigation lines and you have a raised box just drill holes up pretty high um, so that, you know, as the soil goes up and down, as you fill the boxes, you'll at least be kind of up at the top at all times. Um, and then if it gets buried a little bit, you know, it's not the end of the world either. Um, and then just bring these out so they're not in your ways when you're walking. The best you can do is you can, the more you twist it to the right, the smaller the area. Mm -hmm. And then the further that way, the bigger. So that just puts it right in the box everywhere. All right, so as you can kind of see, um, if you twist the knob one way, it just brings the um, span or the distance that it can travel in a little bit tighter. Um, but if you twist it more to the left or the plus sign it has on, on these, um, it just widens that area. Um, I think the only benefit or the thing that would be better if we had ones that um, shot in a full circle. So that's kind of a little bit of downfall of this type. Um, but if you can find ones that shoot in a full circle, that would probably be the best. So that, and then you don't have to put as many in certain spots and you can have certain ones overlap water. Um, from two of them coming into maybe one main plant that needs more water. 
Um, but this will cover that whole area and saturate kind of one entire spot, which is far better than the individual drips that just kind of soak maybe a, maybe a 10 inch area. So having one of these and just having to run, run one line that goes around, um, it makes it that much easier for you to get this whole entire spread. Um, and then these can be made longer or shorter. I'll probably shorten this one up because I don't need this extra length now, um, now that I know where it's gonna go. But that would allow you to place them in multiple different spots if you realize you're not getting enough water far enough to maybe that plant, you can move it over. So overall, I think these are much better. Um, I'm gonna go and get uh, all the rest of them in. I think we're gonna do three per box. My brother just put all of the, our uh, nieces and nephews' names up on his container home. Um, but something I wanted to mention was um, <clears throat> I had these on, these like T-junctions. You, you put it on and then you twist and that tightens it on. Um, but I just don't think they're strong enough. Granted, I don't have a pressure regulator on quite yet, but it blew off, um, just opened up. I just don't think these are maybe strong enough, but maybe once I have the pressure regulator to drop it down to 25 PSI, um, this, this could work just fine. But what I found is these um, have a little bit more length that go in, and then you can use a pipe clamp or these, wrap it around and then put this in and tighten it up through these little tiny loops. And uh, that gets uh, that gets a lot more tension around this end, and uh, haven't had any issue with these falling off, even at 60 psi. I think, which is what um, our main water line is, is pushing out. So, just thought I'd mention that. All right, it turns out I had a couple full circle ones, so uh, that's what this is. So let's turn them back on. They're all in now. Let's see what uh, what they look like and how they work, and if we feel like this can be good coverage. Um, the circle ones, we just put two in each box. So let's see. Okay, let's tighten it up a little bit. Go as far. Yeah, so here's the full circle ones. Ooh, that's so this one's going a little bit crazy though. Well, not, nothing goes heavy in the green bean. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, did you see these flowers? Yes, I told you about this a week ago. Whoa, I never even noticed those. Yeah, and there's more on the other side too. Like, like if your health is already declining, it's like going. I thought that she was like. All right, so I had this water timer called um, Zen Future. It's from Amazon. Um, says easy setup, and it was. Um, you just turn this dial and go through each one. You set your time, um, time of day. Um, then you do start time, how long you want it to go, and then how often. So ours we did um, 8 a.m. every 12 hours, and it'll go for 15 minutes at a time. Um, my main thing I want to see is um, I'm going to probably set, change it so it shuts off quicker and see how this holds. Um, I've had ones in the past where once it kicks off and it's not sending water through anymore, um, this thing will break or bust off or just won't work anymore. Um, so I might need to get a pressure regulator on this. I'm gonna look at the instructions right now to see if this needs one or if it can handle it and manage it. Um, but overall, super easy. Um, I'll put the link for this one below. This is a single. And then I got one that's gonna do like three and we're gonna do that another day. But. All right, so I just started to start at 5.51, and so it says the next start is in one minute, and I set it to only go for one minute. So we'll get to see it go on, and then um, once it kicks off, how well this holds up, if it can just shut it off. I got my water all the way open. All right, just turned 5.51, so water just started. My water's all the way open right now, so it's, it's going through. Um, I'll go show you just maybe some of the waters, and uh, we'll come back, back to this in one minute. This is gonna kick off, and it says next start time is in 12 hours. Full battery, shows that the water's on. All right, so this is the first one I set up. As you can see, I've got this kind of spraying around here. Could actually probably open that one up a little bit more. All right, that might have been a little bit uh, out of focus, or a little bit blurry, but uh, hopefully you heard it. It just kicked off. This valve's still on. It says next start is in 11 hours, and the little valve or um, faucet thing is gone now. So it looks like this is going to work. I'm going to leave this little protection thing on just to keep that um, thing get scratched up and uh, hit by the sun too much. 
So right now I'm gonna just switch this back over to how I actually want it to run. So I want every 12 hours, how long, I want it to actually be for 15 minutes. Just pushing the plus. Okay, so for how long, I've got um, 15 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna switch over now to start time, which is gonna be 8.30 a.m. Um, if you are trying to get to a.m. to p.m., you just keep using the plus button or down button to get through it. Um, and then our clock right now is 5.54. And then we just go and push on. Okay, so now it's gonna go 14 hours. Next one's gonna go. Dropping up all the extra bits of hose that uh, I cut off that I don't need anymore. Um, but we're gonna end this video with a peanut harvest. These peanuts are just starting to die off. Um, so we're gonna dump this box out, and or this um, bag out, and uh, find out what's in there. And then we'll be back in like a week or so and let you know how this is all going with the watering. So far, we think it's gonna be a lot better, um, especially if it does it automatically and doesn't break off, so. Yeah. All right. Okay, Otto, you ready? We're gonna get the peanuts so we can make peanut butter. Do you, should we cut it off or should we just, what if we just pull? Yeah, I think we can. All those little peanuts. I got some peanuts. And how long do you dry them out for, if you know? I don't know. I haven't really done any research. We have lots more brown. <laughs> wow. Look at all those peanuts. It's a good chunk. Mm -hmm. Shake with me. <laughs>